Hi Capricorn and welcome to your May 2019 Spirit Guide messages. I'm going to start off by pulling a few cards here to see what your Spirit Guides would like you to focus on the most for the month of May. So Capricorn, let's see what comes out for you guys. Okay, so we have Grant Fire Train. We have a new beginning showing up. Next out, we have Extreme Multitasking. So you've got a lot going on or a new beginning that's going to just be all encompassing. And ooh, now we got a Grand Earth Train. Desired Outcome. So, Capricorn, uh, Right away, you guys have very lucky, positive energy coming through. Um, and that's what your spirit guides want you to focus on, is the outcomes that you desire, the new beginnings that you desire, okay? But also, um, be willing to do all the work that it takes. Put in all your energy and effort into everything. Uh, and I know like with that card in the middle, to me, you're going to have a lot going on, being pulled in many different directions. You might have a lot of different priorities all at the same time. However, this is Spirit saying, hey, give your 100% to every single thing that needs your attention, to every single thing that you are working on, because you are creating really fantastic outcomes for yourself, Capricorn. Uh, May is a very positive time for you. May um, is a time of change, of transformation, a lot going on, but you getting your way, you ultimately getting what you want, as well as some new opportunities being presented to you. So let's pull some tarot dice here. All right, so we have the Two of Swords. We have the Knight of Swords. The Three of Cups. The Ten of Swords. Let's see, six, seven, eight, yep. The Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Wands. Wow, look at that, two tens. Um, yeah, you've got a lot going on, Capricorn, in the month of May. I say that with this Ten of Wands and this extreme multitasking, okay? So, main thing is, Spirit's like, you've got a lot going on, but, um, and I said Three of Cups, I'm sorry, Four of Cups. I always, for some reason, when I look at this, I always miss this cup right there. I just see three. I don't know why I missed that fourth one. Um, so Capricorn, I hate to say this, but May is a month of hard work, of dedication, and a lot of energy being expend expended in multiple places. Um, you may, you start out the month feeling like, uh, blocked, like this isn't getting anywhere, I'm not getting what I want, um, just feeling kind of unhappy, however, it's like just give whatever it is you're working on or all these things that require you, give it all 100%. Even if it wears you down, you feel exhausted because, man, Capricorn, whew, by the end of the month, you are getting what you want. You're getting the results you want. You're getting the payoff. You're getting the reward. New opportunity, new beginning, just a lot of great things showing up. You have two tens here, so I know that um, in the Two of Swords, yeah, there's some challenging situations in your life that are completing in the month of May. There's finality to something where a decision is made. You finally understand. You know what you need to do. Um, you could be walking away from a really... Uh, oppressive like type of job, a relationship, situation, friendship, just something that was really pulling you down. Like we're walking away from that. The stagnation, the staleness, the boredom, the no movement, feeling completely blocked, okay? 
all of that, that's what's going away now, Capricorn. Um, but there's some element to May that just has you incredibly busy all over the place. You can handle it. You can hold it down, okay? Um, even if you feel like giving up, don't. Just keep at it because, man, Capricorn, ooh, you are so rewarded, okay? Let's pull some more tarot here and see what else comes out. Okay, so the Three of Lessons coming out under the Two of Swords. This would actually be the Three of Swords um, in a standard tarot deck. And so, yeah, you, it's like, I feel that you've been kind of at this for a while. And you're like, is this ever going to change? Is this, you know, ever going to go my way? Yes, it is, okay? Um, this heaviness you're even though you feel like there's no escape from it it's coming Capricorn it's coming you're getting the desired outcome that you have been wanting now um, the the Eternals is showing up this could be attached to a romantic situation or this is attached to somebody or a situation that is very near and dear to your heart if it is not romantic and here we have the five of intuition um, coming out under this Four of Cups, which is sadness, which is heartache, which is loss, and uh, Five of Activation. So, wow, you have two fives now, and lastly, Ten of Intuition. Nice. Um, Capricorn, three tens here, Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, and essentially Ten of Cups. Next out on here is not a ten, so we will stop there. Okay. So, <clears throat> what I see here, Capricorn, is incredible happiness after incredible difficulty. Um, I don't like to bring romance into the spirit guide messages or the weeklies, but I do have to point this out for some of you. There is a new beginning to a very struggling relationship, or it's like after a lot of heartache and challenge and all this stuff, Finally, there's this beautiful new relationship coming into your reality, into your world, okay? Now, for the rest of you, um, listen, it, I feel some of this extreme multitasking, that crazy energy is um, really letting go and moving on from something, whether this is a job, a relationship, a person, a dream, a desire, something, okay? There is an element here where we've got to let it go and move on, and we've kind of been struggling to do that, and we've been feeling really triggered. Well, I don't know what it is, but it's something in the month of May is just like the shifting of everything for you, and finally, boom, we're done with this, and here is this incredible happiness washing over you, emotional fulfillment, life is good. You're getting the outcome that you really, really wanted in your heart, in your soul, okay? There's a new beginning here. Yeah, some of you in a very struggling relationship, um, I feel by the end of May, you guys are in a new beginning somehow, some way, and it brings a lot of happiness for sure. So let's uh, pull some more clarity here. All right. Yeah, it's a matter of consciousness. There's consciousness shifting within you, within another person. But with three tens coming out, Capricorn, and two grand trines, yeah. We are ending some heavy, heavy stuff and moving into a time of happiness, of harmony, of good things. Okay, we have blessing. Yes, that's coming out under this three of lessons. Ooh, we are moving beyond this heavy, 
heavy energy. Okay. Um, spirit sign 1111 coming out under the Eternals. Um, man, some of you, this is like, I hate bringing in romance, and I'm so sorry for you guys who don't like it either. But twin flame going on, like, you guys are going to be okay. It's just like there's consciousness shifting that must take place, and there's this new beginning coming in at the end of May, all right? Um, but for the rest of you, this is spirit giving you confirmation, giving you guidance. 1111 is highly significant for you as a sign, synchronicity, a symbolism for all I've said here, okay? Next out, look at that. Here's those challenges, and that actually comes out under the five of intuition. So you got a five, a five, and then this is card five. That's three fives. What's the sign of challenge? Five, 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 but also five, five, five is about change. So you've been in the challenge. You've been struggling with this heartache. It's time for that to change. So the challenge is the heartache which changing is all of that heavy energy leaving your life. Yeah, because look at here. Now we have the harvest coming out under um, the activations, the things that are triggering you. And under that ten of intuition, look at that timing very soon. Capricorn, within the month of May, with this card, it's letting you know you're getting an outcome that you truly, truly desire. It's bringing you great satisfaction and emotional fulfillment. Your intuition is 100% on point across the board. Trust yourself. 11-11 um, is a very significant symbolism for you in the month of May. Um, along with tens, because you got three tens here, okay? So tens and elevens, significant for Capricorn. Um, and fives, I don't, I don't feel like um, we should pay attention too much to repeating fives, Capricorn, because I feel we're changing out of all of that challenge into emotional fulfillment, into happiness into just things feeling way different. Um, it's like it's been a while that we've been in this rut. We've been in this heavy emotion, not being able to know what to do next or just having our energy so distorted. Everybody needs a little piece of me and spirit, where's my time? How can I, um, you know, just feel more collected? I don't know. Whatever it is for you personally, each and every one of you, your life, it's where we've been in this huge struggle, a lot of pain. It's finally changing. But don't give up, Capricorn. Like I said, give yourself 100% in every single thing you do in the month of May. Because before the month is over, there's a huge payoff for you, um, a lot of happiness coming in, and a new beginning um, that I feel that you've hoped for but you just were kind of losing faith that would ever happen for you, okay? So, let's pull some more cards here for outcome and advice. Okay, not yet, divine timing. And we have a compromise. Oh, right. So, um, in the past, it wasn't the right time for whatever this beautiful outcome is, okay? But also, um, with compromise, Capricorn, don't be stubborn, okay? Be willing to compromise. Be flexible. Be just, I don't know, really accommodating in the month of May because it, it has these just these huge payoff for you somehow, some way. And uh, I think you'll be really happy you did. But this really heavy, crazy stuff, that's leaving you. You're, you're changing. And you might need to compromise with spirit a little bit too um, about just different things that... I, that's such a weird message to me to compromise with spirit, but some of you need to compromise with spirit 
about some, I think it's about the timing actually, like the way you wanted things to happen. Um, the timing is different than you had hoped, but you still are getting the outcome you wanted, okay? So Capricorn, those are your messages. I'm wishing you all the best. Take care.